Hello ladies and gents, I'm DK86, VideoCards.com is at it again, this time leaking the benchmarks for the GTX 1070. This is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to and waiting for, including me, so let's take a look at the benchmarks and talk about them. Okay, so as most of you probably already know, videocards.com did leak the benchmarks for the GTX 1080 a few days ago. Um, if you want to see a video on that, click the notification on the top right of your screen. This time around, they've leaked the benchmarks for the GTX 1070. Um, as you know, seeing as this is a leak, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. So I'm warning you there, these benchmarks may not be accurate, but with the 1080 benchmarks that they leaked, they did turn out to be quite accurate. Accurate. So I'm of the opinion that this is probably true but until we get official work from Nvidia or other tech tubers out there that actually have their hands on a GTX 1070 just take these with a grain of salt. Saying that let's get on with it. So up until now as you all know Nvidia has been quite coy with the specifications of the GTX 1070. They've released some information, um, you know it's got 1920 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1506 MHz and a boost clock of 1683 MHz. It's got 8 gigs of GDDR5 RAM compared to the 8 gigs of GDDR5X on the 1080 uh, with the 256 bit memory interface width. This card has a TDP of 150 watts and just like the GTX 1080 it is an 8 pin power connector. So moving right along onto videocards.com they said that it's got a similar clock frequency to the GTX 1080 which is 1860 to 1870 megahertz. They didn't include any overclocking figures on these results um, I don't really know why but they did talk about overclocking with the GTX 1070 uh, more on that in a minute but what they did find um, according to these benchmarks on 3D Mark Firestrike is that Nvidia's claim of the 1070 being more powerful than the GTX Titan X by the looks of it, they weren't lying. If you can see from the table that video cards posted on your screen right now, the GTX 1070 actually performs on par or even slightly faster than a Titan X. Um, all of these cards are at their base clock. Uh, there's no overclocking on these benchmarks here. So if you were to overclock the Titan X or the 980 Ti, my thoughts would be that they would um, outperform the 1070 but then you could overclock the 1070 and outperform the Titan X or the 980 Ti. That's how it's looking anyways. So moving on to their more visual graph as you can see on your screen you've got the GTX 1080 on top with the 1070 just below it. Um, it's a 24% decrease in speed um, according to this graph 3% over the Titan X and 5% over the 980 Ti. If you're upgrading from a GTX 970 as you can see right down at the bottom of the graph there it looks like it's a leap of 42% in performance between the 970 and the 1070. So that's a pretty good jump right there. For someone like me, I've got the EVGA GTX 970 super super clocked uh, with an overclock to 1540 megahertz. So yeah, I got quite lucky with that overclock. Um, so for me, a GTX 1070 is quite a good option. Even the 1080 is, I mean, these both look like terrific cards here, especially seeing as the 1070 uh, with the board partners is going to retail at $379 and the founder's edition, of course, is $449. So yeah, I think this looks great for Nvidia. I did say that I will come back to talking about overclocking on the GTX 1070. So this is what video cards had to say about that. They said that the average overclocking frequency of the Founders Edition is about 2060 megahertz. So you're still getting over 2 gigahertz of performance out of the GTX 1070 on average according to videocards.com. But obviously it varies depending on the sample. The good news is that there's no problem with memory overclocking. Most cards should be able to hit 9 gigahertz effective speed which unfortunately is still less than the GTX 1080 but enough to increase bandwidth by 32 gigs 
per second to 288 gigs per second. So yeah, I think it's really, really impressive that you're able to overclock these new Pascal cards by such a good margin. Well, by the looks of it anyways, we don't know if any of these cards on the testing have been handpicked in any way, but it does look like Pascal overclocks really well. And having the GTX 1070, having the performance of a Titan X or even better performance than a Titan X or even a 980 Ti, especially the Titan X because that's a thousand dollar graphics card. Getting that performance for as low as $379 is pretty spectacular and it's quite exciting for, well, everybody really that's into this kind of thing. So yeah, GTX 1070 according to these leaked benchmarks looks like a winner to me, to be quite honest with you. It's above the Titan X on these synthetic benchmarks anyways. We still have to wait and see how it performs in real world testing with people who are lucky enough to get their hands on this thing before release, uh, which is June the 10th by the way. But yeah, keep your eyes um, and ears open for more news. This is all I have for now. So yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. We can talk about the GTX 1070 and 1080. So that's about it from me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm DKD6. Bye.